Are you tired of struggling to make ends meet? These words echo in the minds of countless individuals across the globe. The struggle is real, but what if I told you there's a solution right within your reach? A solution that can help you materialize cash resources at will in no time at all. Intriguing, isn't it? Today we're going to explore the mental ways to attract cash abundance, drawing from the wisdom of two great thinkers, Wallace D. Waddles and Joseph Murphy. Wallace D. Waddles, the renowned author of the book, The Science of Getting Rich, guides us towards a wealth mindset. He urges us to focus on abundance, not scarcity. To visualize ourselves as prosperous and successful, and believe that we deserve the wealth we're seeking. It's about fostering a positive mentality, a mentality that magnetizes wealth. Then we have Joseph Murphy, the author of The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. Murphy highlights the incredible influence of our subconscious mind on our reality. He suggests using affirmations like, I am wealthy, and money comes to me easily and effortlessly. By repeating these statements, we can reprogram our subconscious mind to believe in the abundance we desire. But these mental processes aren't just about positive thinking and affirmations, they also involve action. You need to set clear intentions and take steps towards achieving them. It's about moving from passive wishing to active doing. And of course, you must release any limiting beliefs or negative thoughts that might be holding you back. By letting go of these mental barriers, you open up a clear path to the abundance you deserve. So there you have it, the struggle and the solution. The journey from financial struggle to abundance may seem daunting, but remember, it all starts in the mind. By tapping into the wisdom of Waddles and Murphy, you can start attracting the wealth you desire. So stay tuned as we dive deeper into these concepts and uncover the secrets to materializing cash at will. First, let's explore the teachings of Wallace D. Waddles. Wallace, a pioneer in the self-help genre, penned the influential book, The Science of Getting Rich. His teachings are centered around the concept of a certain way of thinking, a way that fosters wealth and success. In Waddle's perspective, it all begins with your thoughts. He emphasized the power of positive thinking, asserting that by focusing on abundance, we can attract prosperity. Waddles urged his readers to visualize success, to see themselves in their minds as wealthy and thriving individuals. He wrote, Whatever may be said in praise of poverty, the fact remains that it is not possible to live a really complete or successful life unless one is rich. This doesn't necessarily mean being rich in the materialistic sense, but being rich in happiness, health and peace of mind. Waddles also highlighted the importance of gratitude. He believed that being thankful for what we already have sets the stage for receiving more. He suggested that one should rise each morning with an attitude of gratitude expressing thanks for the wealth and success that are on their way. Another key point from Waddle's book is the idea of acting in the present. He argued that to attract wealth, one must act as if they already possess the wealth they desire. This means living in a state of abundance rather than waiting for wealth to arrive. But Waddle's didn't just advocate for a mindset shift, he also encouraged his readers to take concrete action towards their goals. He believed that combining positive thinking with purposeful action is the key to achieving success. As Wattles teaches, by shifting our mindset, we can start to attract wealth into our lives. By focusing on abundance, visualizing success, expressing gratitude, and taking action, we can materialize the cash resources we desire. So let's take a leaf out of Waddle's book and start working towards a wealthier, more abundant life. Next, we turn to the wisdom of Joseph Murphy. A remarkable figure in the world of self-help and motivational speaking, Murphy brought a unique perspective to the conversation surrounding prosperity and wealth accumulation. Murphy's main emphasis was on the power of the subconscious mind. He believed that our subconscious minds are like fertile soil and the thoughts we plant in them are the seeds that will dictate the harvest we reap in our lives. The subconscious mind, he professed, doesn't distinguish between truth and falsehood. It simply accepts whatever we feed it. Therefore, if we feed it thoughts of abundance and prosperity, it will manifest these in our reality. But how exactly do we feed our subconscious minds these thoughts of abundance? Murphy proposed the use of positive affirmations. These are positive, present tense statements that we repeat to ourselves, effectively programming our subconscious minds to believe in abundance. An example of such an affirmation could be, I am a money magnet, or wealth flows easily and abundantly into my life. 
However, Murphy stressed that affirmations must be paired with emotional intensity for them to take root in the subconscious mind. It's not enough to just say the words, we need to feel the reality of the wealth we are affirming. When we say, I am a money magnet, we must truly believe and feel that we are. But Murphy's teachings don't stop there. He also emphasized the importance of forgiveness and releasing any resentment or negative emotions we may hold towards money or those who have it. By doing so, we clear any blockages that could be preventing the flow of wealth into our lives. So with a blend of subconscious programming through affirmations, emotional intensity, and forgiveness, we can effectively use the teachings of Joseph Murphy to attract wealth and prosperity into our lives. With Murphy's advice, we can begin to reprogram our minds to believe in and attract wealth. But it's not just about thinking and affirming. We also need to act and release. Setting clear intentions is the first step. It's not enough to wish for more money, we need to be specific. Think in terms of the amount you want, what you want to do with it, and by when you want to have it. The clearer our intentions, the more effectively we can direct our actions towards achieving them. The next step is the action itself. Think about the steps you need to take to achieve your financial goals. Maybe it's starting a side hustle, investing in stocks, or furthering your education. Whatever it is, start taking those steps today. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. Every small action you take brings you one step closer to your goal. Now let's talk about release. This might be the most challenging part for many of us. Release involves letting go of limiting beliefs and negative thoughts about money. Maybe you've been told that money is the root of all evil, or that rich people are greedy. These beliefs can hold you back from attracting the abundance you deserve. But how do we release these blocks? Start by acknowledging them. Recognize these thoughts when they come up and then consciously choose to let them go. Replace them with positive affirmations like, money is a tool for good, or I deserve abundance. Finally, practice gratitude. Be thankful for what you have right now, even if it's not as much as you'd like. Gratitude raises our vibration and aligns us with the energy of abundance. By taking action and releasing blocks, we open the path to materializing cash at will. So set your intentions, take action, release your limiting beliefs, and practice gratitude. Remember, you are capable of attracting the wealth you desire. Believe in yourself and keep moving forward. You've got this. By taking action and releasing blocks, we open the path to materializing cash at will. So, what have we learned today? We've embarked on a journey through the wisdom of Wallace D. Wattles and Joseph Murphy, two giants in the realm of financial abundance and prosperity. We've dissected their teachings, distilled their wisdom, and discovered the mental processes that can help us reach the cash heavens in a fast pace. First, we delved into Wattles' profound advice. Focus on abundance, not lack. Visualize yourself as wealthy, successful, and brimming with prosperity. Let this image permeate your thoughts and actions. It's not about wishful thinking. It's about truly believing in your capacity for wealth and success and aligning your actions to match this belief. Then we explored the insights of Joseph Murphy. The power of our subconscious mind is immense. We learn to affirm positive statements such as I am wealthy and money flows easily to me. These affirmations repeated consistently program our minds to believe in and expect abundance. Murphy emphasized that it's not about pretending, it's about truly believing in these affirmations and allowing them to shape your reality. But it isn't all about thoughts and affirmations. We also emphasize the importance of action. Setting clear intentions, making plans, and taking steps towards your goals are all critical components of materializing cash resources at will. It's about aligning your actions with your beliefs and making your vision of wealth a reality. Lastly, we discovered the power of release. Letting go of limiting beliefs or negative thoughts that may be holding you back is key. This is about freeing ourselves from the shackles of self-doubt and fear and opening the door to receive the abundance we deserve. So there you have it, a journey through the mental ways to get cash abundance, drawn from the wisdom of Wallace D. Wattles and Joseph Murphy. Remember, with these practices you can materialize cash resources at will and become the successful person you were meant to be. Remember, with these practices you can materialize cash resources at will and become the successful person you were meant to be.